there lovelies it's been a little while and uh, I've been very behind uh, since it was the end of the month there weren't very many events going on so I didn't really have too much to go with but all the events are starting now so I have quite a few events stacking up I was really hoping to get to chapter 4 today but um, because it doesn't open till noon I wasn't able to make it I'll be going to my sister's birthday later on tonight so um, I figured I would go over all the stuff I got from Famash today, because I did get stuff the other day and I bought a few more things today, um, but I wanted to show you everything that I got. I didn't get too much, um, I am wearing one thing right now, I haven't been able to take it off, and that is the honey hair from Ila Katera, and <laughs> I feel like Zoe Deschanel, she looks so cute. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite hairs right now. Um, I do also have a few shoutouts I wanted to thank. Out of my Adani, uh, they sent me the CTS wardrobe. I had never heard of that before, but they sent me this really nice letter and also uh, sent me the gift of the CTS wardrobe. I did test it out. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out. I did a review and I wasn't really happy with it, so I hid it. I'm probably going to delete it and redo it again eventually, but it, it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to, and I want to make sure I do it justice. So, um, but thank you very much for that. And also thank you very much to all my subscribers. I hit 100, so that's really awesome. I never expected that at all. Um, <laughs> I always thought this was just going to be like a silly little thing that goes always unnoticed. So it was really neat. Um, but yes, uh, FAMESH today. Uh, I'll go everything. I'll show you everything I got. And let's do it. What I'm wearing right now is Lazy Bones, the spring fling dress. I wear this almost every time I'm wearing in casual wear unless I'm role-playing, and then I'm wearing Izzy's uh, over-the-knee socks and Rain's lace Oxfords. I don't have the lace on them, but I think they're so cute and so customizable. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, the dress, I think, is customizable as well, but I just like wearing black. Uh, we will start off with the damselfly hair. I normally don't buy damselfly hair, but this hair looks really unique, so I thought I'd try it. Let me put on a pose, and I'll put it on. I've really grown attached to this sorry sorry pose for my fashion looks now, so this is probably what you're going to see the most from me. Um, let's see, this is the damselfly hair, so I'll take off the Alicatira one I'm wearing right now, and we'll put this on, and the HUD. It comes with a crap ton of alphas, so no matter what your head looks like, I guess you're covered. This already kind of fits my hair color, so let me just make it a little bit lighter. Let's go to like 257. I don't. I haven't really bought so much from them, so I don't really know what to expect color-wise. But there are a lot of options. I like that they're pretty diverse on that. It does actually fit my hair base perfectly. That's neat. I might check out their store a bit more. You know I'm obsessed with hair. Let's wait for the alphas to fully load the textures. Because they're still a bit crazy. Okay, there we go. I had to zoom super far out and get it to work, but here we go. Uh, I thought this was really cute, though. It's like a uh, pushed back. It's like if you have bangs, they're just pushed back out of the way. It's very casual. I just woke up, brushed it out a bit, and went off to go. It's definitely a look that I wear in real life all the time, and I thought this looked perfect on her as well. It's very fitting for my character. Um, but yeah, I definitely will be checking out Damselfly. I, I'm very pleasantly surprised by it, both by the texturing and by the mesh. I think this is great. I don't see any weird alphas or anything. It's really nice. Uh, we will move on to Dead Dolls. I did get the fat pack. I got that today. I was I uh, I don't think they had it out yet when I first saw it, um, but I went back today and saw it, so I went and grabbed it. So I'll throw that in here. I did get the Dead Dolls also from Crossword Roads, but every time I was there, I kept crashing, so I'm not able to do a review on that just yet. So let me pause and I'll put on one of these colors. Okay, so here it is in black, and this is very floofy. It's like um, almost like a teacup dress. It does show nipples, so if you want to hide that, you're going to have to wear a bra. You don't need any alpha-ing whatsoever. Um, I really like this, though. I, um, it's definitely a cutesy look, but sexy. Like, it's it's a baby girl look, and I, I think that's such a cute style. Um, I'm normally not into the baby girl style, but I think this really works well. Uh, we'll go to the white one next. And wait for that to load. Oh, this is Dove, so this is like a beige. Again, very cute. I love the ribbon in the back. And she's always so good with her alpha-ing without, or her mashing without having to alpha a thing for the Maitreya. We have eggshell, and that should be the white. Oh, there's two. So this is a light blue. Oh, I didn't expect that. It's maybe like a, um, what is it, a quail egg? No, what are the ones that are blue? Oh, I can't remember now. And we have Night. 
Oh, this is very pretty. I like the color coordination a lot. And this is lovely. We have pink. This is still, again, very nice. The colors really pop and are very vibrant. And again, her mesh, like you can really see every single detail. Um, I think it's still resing a bit though. Let me see. Maybe not. Second life's been giving me issues, so I'm, I was having a hard time figuring out if this was the design or if it was Second Life being a brat. I'm thinking it's Second Life being a brat though, so let me re-log and see if that helps at all. Okay, so I re-logged and I think I still see the issue. I'm I'm not sure. I, I really don't think this is what it's supposed to be because it kind of looks like it's the... Um, UV on it? I don't know. Maybe maybe that's how it is supposed to be, but it kind of surprised me. And let's see the white. The white has it too, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I didn't see it in their ad. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the advertisement and put it on here. And the ad doesn't look like this, so I don't know. It might just be Second Life being wonky with me. Or maybe I have my object detail, though. No. No, everything is high, so... I don't know. That's not how the ad looks at all, so that's kind of a bummer. I don't know. I normally love dead dolls, so I'm just now noticing this, and that kind of bites. Bleh. Maybe that's just how it is, and I just see it more on the lighter colors. Because it looks fine here. This looks like the advertisement. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, we'll go to Cheeky P next. And I did vlog, or I did a blog post for this yesterday. This is their uh, um, Coral Beach shower set. Um, I'll just res out all the colors so you can see them. I rezzed out one adult one and then two PG ones just so I can show you the menus. Again, Cheeky P does have their own mocap now. Uh, they don't have any of the same animations any other store has, so do try a demo and make sure you like how the animations look. And um, as well as if you ever do have an issue with Cheeky P, they do have a service rep which is awesome. <laughs> I'm really laughing at the I am, I'm getting sorry. Um, but you can always file a ticket and they'll help you out in any way you need. Uh, they're always very accommodating. Oh, did I mention I got Truth as a as a sponsor? I got so excited. They did the, uh, they opened up blogger applications for Truth just for a few days, and I applied. And I never thought I had a chance in hell, and I actually did get it. <laughs> so um, I was a little blown away. I thought that was amazing. I can't believe I got an opportunity like that. So I feel really lucky. I couldn't believe how many people applied, and I was able to get it. So. Um, anyways, the Cheeky P has four single poses, and then couples, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, couples poses. Uh, we'll do the singles really quick for you all. So that's scrub up. This is shower. This is wash. And then this is kneel shower. And then if you want the water on, there's this little circle thing right here. This is how you turn on the shower. And then let's see how many there are for adult. There are a lot of adult. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. So twenty one different poses. Quite a few. Definitely demo. The mesh is really nice. Uh, it's 13 land impact and it comes in these three colors. I think you can buy them separately. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you buy them separately. Um, but it comes in rose, sea, and turquoise. This one's sea, this one's rose, and this one's turquoise. Uh, we'll move on now to the metallic tissue mini dress from Valentina E. Again, she's become one of my favorite store designers now. I hadn't really known her very well at first. I don't, what is that? <laughs> but uh, the more I see her, the more stuff I really like. 
Okay, so this is the Valentina E dress. It's a super mini dress. I'm wearing the erratic panties underneath it, but it comes with its own panties, so I could probably take off my erratic ones I'm always wearing. Let me do that. Yeah, it comes with a cute little pair of panties underneath it, so it's a mini and it has like a little tease like that. It does. It has auto alpha or optional no scripts alpha or version for the dresses. It has Maitreya, um, medium, slink, hourglass, and small. So it does still fit standard sizing still. Uh, I think they might be still fitted for small and medium. I just got this in black uh, just to see how it looked. I hadn't tried it on yet, but I think this is really cute. I love the wrinkling a lot. Um, <laughs> let's go back to my favorite hair. And this is the Hani hair from Ilikatira. Again, this has become one of my favorite hairs. I just love the bangs with a little uh, partial uh, cut in between. And I love that it's all in the front. And I love the bow. It does come with, uh, oops, uh, It you can do all the hair accessories or the hair colors. I just got the brunettes pack. And it has all the same colors they have in every single brunettes pack. And then you can change the hair, um, hair what would it be, a headband? Hair bow? I don't know. I keep wanting to say hair tie, and that's not correct. So I'll just go back to black. But it comes with all these different colors. It's very, very customizable which is cool next is candy doll let me put on a top to wear with this okay so I got two colors this does not auto alpha so you just got to alpha it just takes seconds you have the little space at the ankle as well it doesn't stop fully at the ankle which I actually like I think that fits better with boots normally let me take off my socks as well there we go look at that booty though oh gosh God, I love her mesh so much. So this is this is Roman numeral seven, and this is the Peeler Jean shade, and it does come with a HUD. I didn't even notice this until now. So let's see what the HUD does. Let's see. So this does the laces, and what does this do? <gasps> oh, that's a game changer. I had no idea. I thought the shades that it came in was what it was, but. Oh my gosh, okay, so now I'm completely sold. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, I'm very happy I got the black now too then. <laughs> Look how neat this is. So you can tint the the legs. Um, it's all the lower parts. Wow, this is pretty much like a fat pack right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then we will put on number 10, which is this one. And we'll put on the HUD. I am so excited now. <laughs> okay, let's let it rise. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. Let's put it on purple. Oh, I just accidentally hit pause. I don't know why I did that. Let's put it on purple. And I'll do purple laces. And oh my gosh, I am blogging the crap out of this today. Ah. Huh. And I like that the, the metal with the purple. Like it has different metal options up here, but I really like the gold with the purple. My old school colors were purple and gold, well, like purple and orange, but, um, or yellow. I don't know. But, oh, I love this so much. This is so cool. If you don't, uh, if you didn't get this, definitely get this. Or try the demo because this is so cool. <laughs> I had no idea. I can't believe I didn't even look at the HUD until now. <sighs> Okay, um, while I get over that, let's go over the heart. Um, I got the Wildflower set. Um, so I got both Campion and Queen Anne's Lace. So let's do... Let me pause and I'll res every single thing out and you can look at it. I'll put them in groups. I decided to do one color at a time. So this is the groups of blue. And this is the single versions of blue. And... Everything looks like it'll be one lint impact. Let's see. Yes. Oh, this one's five. I think this, this is everything linked together. This is one. This is one. It's a really good deal with all these, though. And now I will res out the pink. And again, this works the same as the blue. It has the same uh, couples. It has the same lint impact. I can't grab on stuff. This is very pretty, though. Look how realistic. I love how realistic flowers have gotten in Second Life. It used to be all just, like, flexy and uh, prims. It's so different now. These are really nice. I might put some down. I have um, a little, like, 
uh, downstairs. Uh, since I just use this really to unpack stuff, I figured I'd make it a little pretty down there for uh, people if they want to walk by it. It's public and anybody can uh, walk on anybody's land here. We have to keep it public in the Covenant, so I figured I might as well make it a little park. It's really steep, though, <laughs> to get the water. Everything is so high up, so mine's kind of derpy. This is the lilac. I didn't even pause to res it. I'm sorry. I like the uh, colors with the purple. Like It's like that magenta bud. And it's very, very pretty. And I like the yellow. This is, there's so many cute little details in this. Uh, I've been getting more and more from Heart lately. Um, I hadn't really heard of them until maybe a few months ago. And uh, I've really started, this really started to grow on me. So this is the last group. Oh, there's more apparently down there. <laughs> I see them now. But this is pink. And we'll get another zoom in. It looks like it has that same kind of magenta tone underneath it. Again, really pretty. Um, the flowers have that little yellow bit again as well for the pollen. It looks like a bit more orangey than the last one. And again, same land impact. And let's see. Oh, we got two more. So let me get comfy because I'm going to be here for a while. Let's do the white. Maybe I should just res out the big groups because we already know what these colors look like. So there's the white and there's the yellow. And I'll put them right next to each other. I did single on accident. I don't know why. Yeah, these are both really lovely. I like the white a lot with that magenta tone. And the yellow as well. I like the yellow, the white center of the yellow. That's really lovely. Okay. And let's go to the other section. So this is the Queen's Anne's Lace, and this is what actually sold me on the sets. So this isn't too much, so I'll be able to just res all these out right now. Three, four. I think these are each four ninety nine linden. Um, so that's actually pretty cheap for all this, for really nice mesh, for all the detail, and you get all of these. So, let's see the land impact first. One, 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 three, because that looks like that's linked, and one. Okay, so there's just one thing that's three. Oh, yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> okay, now we can zoom in and look at them. Look how pretty this is. Though. This almost makes me think of, like, baby's breath. And this does look like it has a little bit of uh, the prim instead. I can't really tell. But there's so many little things on it. I can kind of see why as well. The rest is all mesh. It's so, so pretty. Oh, it looks like it could move any second. I even like the shadows with it right now. It is so lovely. And this would be so nice for photos. I'm very happy with this. Okay. So we finished this. Um, how about... No, I don't, I'm not going to go out of order. Every time I go out of order, I miss stuff, and I can't do that this time. So let's go to Little Bones next. Take off this hair. And Nika, Nika L. I'll do the baby hairs after, too, because it's different. Look how pretty this is. I already blogged this, I think. Maybe not. I don't remember. I did not. I blogged a different hair from Little Bones. I think this is so, so pretty. I love the little swoop right here. And again, as I've been saying, Little Bones, um, I've, I've been a fan of them for a very long time, but their hair textures have just gotten better and better every time. Um, so this is without the baby hairs, and then this is with. And it just has little hairs, kind of like how my hair base is currently. It just has little bits right there, like it's pressed down. I really like both of these. I think these styles are really nice. Um, and it comes with different sizes. It comes in large, let luca, medium, and small, all with and without the baby hairs. And da, da, da. let's see, we got rain next. So let me take off the rain Oxfords and I'll put on the rain Sophia sandals. If I can grab my shoes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so let's put on the Rain Sophia sandals, and al as always, we got the Rainberry HUD. So we got the Blueberry HUD and the Rainberry HUD. I also got excited. Rain also, oh no, Blueberry also works with Empire, which is one of my sponsors. So I got these really, really cool boots, like lace up boots that go up to my thighs, and I'll be blogging those soon. Um, but again, it comes with, uh, these sandals come with all the same colors that come with the Rainberry HUDs. 
uh, the colors that fit with uh, the blueberry colors and the ones that fit with the rainberry normal colors. And I think these are very, very cute. I always like the little details they put. Like now you can actually even see like the rain logo on the side of the shoe right there. And you can actually like look at that. Look at the cute little crowns at the bottom of the shoe. It's just little details that you wouldn't really notice. The stitching, the lace, they even have the tie correct on the top. It's very cool. I like this a lot. And what do we got next? I think we just have a few things left. This is kind of a quick haul. Probably not because I talk so much. So I got the caravans and they all come in, it comes in three colors. It comes in earthen, seaside, and sylvan. So we got earthen right here. I think this is sylvan. Seaside did not res. Ah. There we go. This is seaside. These are so pretty. I love the caravans. Um, I, I was, as I've said in so many videos, I really love the boho look. It is a style that I really like to cling to and normally my go-to style. So look how nice this is. It is 79 linen impact, so that is not bad at all. Um, you can close the shades, which I always think is so cool. And it looks like this one has like a purple and then there's green. I like that. It's all different colors. Let's see what the next one is. Let's get over here. These might be the same. Oh no, they're not. Hey, so that's brown. Let's close this, it's obnoxious. Red, oh, I like the red a lot. <laughs> another brown right there. Oh wait, there's another one right here. I didn't see this. And this is red again. Okay, so I don't have to go back. Then there's always this control panel. You can make the door or window or light or blinds public. Where's the light? I don't see a light. Okay. <laughs> um, you can also edit admins and who has access. Maybe this is the lights. I don't know. I don't think I have local lights on. Let's see. Local lights. Eh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, let's look at the last color of shades. Uh, this is... Oh, you can do it on the inside and outside. That's really neat. And you can open the door. So that's like a blue, like a violet. And has like a... I can't really describe that, like a greenish gray moss. So, so pretty. I love all the detail even in the woodwork. This is so nice. This is what I'm going to be blogging today for sure. I already got my whole outfit set. Done. We good. <laughs> I really love this. This is so cool. Okay, so let's clean this up. And did I fall? Oh, no, I'm in here. Okay. And, and, and vinyl, the Fergie dress. It's a top and skirt, but it's, uh, it meets together to look like a dress. So let me put that on. As always, as always, you always have to use the click here for textures for it to load. Um, she does that for all of them. I think it's just for, um, efficiency. So she doesn't have to do every single color. Um, I really like this though. I like the sheen of it. Uh, it fits really nicely. I don't know, I think it's cute. I could probably mix and match it too, because they do come separate. And we have the last thing, which is Revival, which, oh my gosh, their poses and animations and everything is so cool. I think that's what really sells me more than anything. I mainly love the single sits. Um, so for male, there is eight, 13, 13 single sits for male. For female, there is eight, 13 as well. And then there's cuddles, and there are 18, 19 poses for cuddles, and then there's also play, and there, there's a ton. <laughs> um, you can always adjust poses and faces too, so if you don't like the faces that it does, you can always turn those off as well. So let's do female poses, because this is what I really like. This is what sells me. I just think they look so realistic, and I think they're my favorite. And I know a lot of places use these same poses, but... Oh, my animation's on. <laughs> it's just, they're, they're poses I would totally use anytime. And it's just like a little beach lounger. It is 12 Len Impact. And you can change the color of the pillows. Oh, the whole set. So if you click the pillows, you can change the set. So this is sand. This is gray. This is brown, and 
this is white. Okay, simple enough, but that's it. Uh, this is my whole fan mesh tall. I try to keep it quick, but I know I ramble a lot. Um, I hope you go check it out because they had amazing stuff, and I will be back tomorrow for 50 Linen Friday. hope you have a great day. Goodbye!